Hello children, how are you all? Let me hope you all are fine with your good health. Today, let me go to new chapter, chapter 7, it is circles. So here, in our surroundings, we find so many geometrical figures in our day-to-day -day life. We find squares, rectangles, circles, isn't it? So here, we are discussing about the circle. In this lesson, we will learn about how to draw the circle, how to construct the circle with the given measurement. Before going to construction, let me know the instruments used in geometrical construction. So let me know about our geometrical compass. Here in geometry box, we find first one ruler. This is ruler. Ruler check here it is also called scale and for what purpose it is used to draw a straight line and line segment this scale is used to draw a straight line and to draw line segment then to measure any length of the line segment now we want to measure the uh, line side of this book then we can measure with the help of a scale okay we want to measure any length of a thread then we use the scale scale we want to measure the length of pencil then we use the scale so this scale is used to measure the length of any line segment then comes a divider this is called a divider this instrument is called a divider both side we have a pointed figures now these pointed points we keep on line segment and we measure we keep like this and we measure that line segment and keep on scale and exact measurement of line segment is measured with the help of divider okay then third one this is called compass this is helpful to draw the circle of given radius if it is told to draw a circle of 5 cm then with the help of this we measure 5 cm and we can draw a circle so this is called a compass okay then next one is protector this is protector here in protector we find measurement of angles here this is easy to construct the angles we can measure the angles with the help of protector in protector you will find numbers numbers from 0 to 180 for both side okay last chapter already we have learned about how to use the protector so this is called protector to measure the angles then comes still two triangular fig objects and they are called set squares these are helpful to construct right angled triangles and to construct the parallel lines in your higher classes you will learn that how these set squares are used here both are different one you will find 90 degree here is 60 degree and here is 30 degree 90 degree 60 degree and 30 degree and this one you will find here is 90 degree and remaining two angles this angle and this angle both are 45 degree so here 90 degree and these two angles are 45 degree each okay so these uh, help us to construct the right angle triangles to measure the right, right angle triangles and to draw the parallel lines now how these instruments are used in our day-to-day -day life here one figure is given this figure you can see here set squares are used then uh, protector is used compass is used scale is used to draw the figures so shall I draw this figure here let me try this figure on board so first with the help of a scale with the help of a scale let me draw a house
so with the help of a scale here we are constructing a home can you see this then here let me have a door with the help of a scale so this is home now here we have a window that window let me construct with the help of compass so with the help of compass let me draw one small window so with the help of uh, this compass we can construct a circle then with the help of this compass again we can construct sun also here a sun is drawn with the help of compass you can construct sun and we can put lines and or with the scale then some hills are given isn't it so those hills you can use set squares to draw the hills isn't it here we can draw the hills then some roads are constructed so this you can use as a scale see then suppose we want to draw a tree so with the help of this protector we can draw the tree isn't it even with the help of this is a square we can construct another tree is like a asoka tree keep a reverse you will find a triangle and here we can construct another tree so here geometrical instruments are used to construct geometrical figures you you have observed how these instruments are used so children here next topic let we learn about a circle what is circle so here circle is a plane closed figure it is closed figure check it is not opened anywhere this is closed totally closed figure here we don't know which is the starting point and which is ending point so here if i draw like this this is it is not closed figure this is not closed figure here we know this is starting point and it has a end point but if this end point is joined to starting point then we call it a closed figure so circle is a closed plane figure 
all the points on the circle are equidistant from a fixed point. Now here we have one fixed point. Then all the points here suppose it is B, here is C, here somewhere D, here is E. These points are equidistant from the fixed point. O is fixed point from this point A, B, C, D, E. They are equidistant from the fixed point. In the figure, now this fixed point is called center of the circle. Now this point O is called center of the circle. Here O is center of the circle. Got this? O is called center of the circle. Now A is a point on the circle. In the same way B, C and D are also points on the circle. Here A is one point on the circle. Similarly B, C, D, E they are the points on the circle. We can mark any number of points on the circle. Here on the circle you can mark any number of points. OA is a line segment which joins the center O and point A on the circle and OA is called radius of the circle. Here with the help of a scale if I join OA then this OA is called radius of the circle and this OA is distance between circle and center of the circle. So here if I measure this OA then I am getting 9 centimeter. Okay. Here OA is radius of the circle. And it is denoted by R. If I measure R, R is 9 centimeters. Radius of the circle, radius of the circle is denoted by small r of English alphabet and it is denoted by r and here if I measure the radius it is 9 centimeter. Okay. Then if I join OB, if I join OC, they are also radii of the circle, they are also radius. One radius is called a radius, singular is radius, plural if there are many radius in the circle we call it radii. Okay, So here we have more than two radius so we call them radii. So in circle we have three radii and if I measure OB, here if I measure OB I am getting same 9 centimeter. If I measure OC, again I am getting same 9 centimeter. So from this what we observe? Radius of the circle, they are same. They are of equal length. Okay. Here in a circle, you can construct as many radius you want. Okay. Now, here activity is given. It, it says join B, C and D to the center of the circle. Here, OB, OC and OD are radii of the circle. As I have told you, one we call radius. Singular of a radius is radius. Plural more than two, two or more than two, we call radii. So here OA, OB, OC are called radii of the circle. Then if I measure the length of the radii, here OA I am getting 9 centimeter. Let me check OB and OC. So here OA is 9 centimeter. What is OB? OB is also OB is also 9 centimeter. Then let me check OC. OC is also 9 centimeter. Okay. So here Radii of the same circle are equal in measurement. This we learn from activity. Now what do you observe from the above measurements? Here what we observed? 
all the radii of circle are equal so we learned all the radii all the radii of the circle are equal got this this understood that radii of a same circle are equal in length radius is denoted by letter r here radius we denote by small alphabet r so here in the uh, figure radius r is 9 cm then what we observed every circle will have a center and definite measurement of the radius here also we learned that every circle it has a center here o is the center of the circle okay then center and radius are not the part of circle here this is the circle okay radius is not part of the circle center is not part of the circle but it shows the existence of the circle here circle to draw circle we require radius we require cent center of the circle so center of the circle and radius definitely they are not parts of the circle but they show us the existence of the circle okay now again let we draw another circle and let we revise the radius then some points on the circle and let we measure the radii let we revise same concept here let me draw one circle here one circle is drawn of any measurement this is the circle here let we mark the center of the circle this is point o now let me draw radius of this circle let is a now here in textbook here x is given and this is y so x is center of the circle it's not compulsory every time we should write only o you can write x as a center of the circle then y is point on the circle then xy is called radius of the circle so here let we measure the radius of the circle so we should keep this zero on center of the circle and this is 6.5 so here r we are getting 6.5 centimeter okay so here in our next session we will go to exercise 7.1 till then have a good day children